From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. This is a man with a mission. His name is Leonard Odambo, and he's from Gabon. I'm a bit like the squirrel, that animal which lives high up in the branches and who comes to tell those who live down below what he's seen. Those who live down below are his people, the pygmies. Although widely recognized as the first inhabitants of Central Africa, the pygmies have a history of being marginalized and misunderstood. Today, in Gabon, the once nomadic pygmies live mostly in villages deep in the dense rainforest. Their rich environment providing both shelter and sustenance. Largely forgotten, they're not even recognized as citizens of their own country and have little say in determining their own future. Now, Odambo is traveling 800 kilometers from the capital to join his team near the Congo border. The team is carrying out the first ever census of one group of pygmies, the Bakoya. The most important thing is that everyone is included in the census. And once registered, those pygmies who, until now, haven't even been eligible for identity cards will be granted citizenship and will have a say in shaping their own destinies. Census taker Blanchard Miloma is himself a Bakoya pygmy like Odambo. Without an identity card, you're always in trouble. Even though you're Gabonese, you're treated like a foreigner. Nobody knows exactly how many pygmies there are in the country. Estimates range anywhere from 10,000 to 20,000. The census, the first step in registering their numbers, is funded and overseen by the United Nations Democracy Fund, UNDEF. Roland Rich is the head of UNDEF. We like to uh, have projects that give groups voice that they may not already have. And so in particular, marginalized groups in their societies uh, um, so that they can demand the sort of things that uh, are, they're entitled to. Things like access to health care, decent jobs and schooling. Odambo, as one of the few pygmies to have benefited from a university education, is now determined to fight so that the pygmies have the same opportunities in life that he did. But he has a word of caution. If you lose touch with your practices, with your customs, that's a total uprooting, and it's truly disastrous. Awful. With the pygmies now on the verge of being granted citizenship, the choice will soon be theirs as to how much they want to participate in all the opportunities this presents without losing their thousands of years of profound knowledge of the forest. I try to draw attention to the dangers of developing too fast. We are a people of the forest. We should always keep one foot in the forest. The forest is our life. This report was produced by Jill Fickling for the United Nations.